it is never easy to change a behavior it is very difficult i know you have that behavior that you want to change last year 2023 you said i will not enter 2024 with this behavior you went to pray on that first night you were delivered 2024 you are still doing the same thing you had new year resolution this year i need to hit the gym i need to do that you started in january and boom you are still back to where you were now i also have something that i want to change and i'm battling with it as well apart from you believing a spiritual let's look at the science behind behavior change and that's the purpose of this video i'm Richard poku i talk about health i talk about gospel and then motivation hit the subscribe button and let's go now we're talking about the science behind behavior change our human body is made up of cells and chemicals you can choose to believe it or not but that is how our body is made up cells and chemicals and our brain is the center of everything now our behavior has a connection with our brain we have something we call neural pathway a neural pathway is how our brain cells communicate with each other the neurons communicate with each other with something we call dendrites and dendrite increases with the frequency of a particular behavior in other words whatever behavior that we put up creates a particular pathway in our brain that is a way that our brain cells communicate with each other and how frequent you put up that behavior actually strengthens the bond or the connection between these two brain cells that i mean is accompanied with that behavior so the more you do that the more the connection between these brain cells becomes stronger and messages or information is transmitted or transported fast between them so let's say from cell a to cell b that is um, maybe you smoking that's the connection between cell a and then cell b when you start smoking the the, the connection between them it's very weak but the more you keep smoking that's why the first time you smoked it wasn't easy for you but when you keep doing that then the connection between to these two cells become very strong the rate at which message transmits between these two cells becomes very fast and that attitude or behavior becomes part of you and it becomes so difficult for you to stop now does it mean you are stuck in there forever no because the process by which this communication occurs is called the neural firing so it causes certain wiring it wires your brain in a particular pathway to help you behave the way you behave and it becomes very difficult for you to stop now it doesn't mean you are stuck in there forever forever but you need to understand this process now for you to be able to stop this behavior you need to rewire your brain and it's not easy to do that you need to rewire your brain when you start up a new activity or you start to behave in a certain way that one also creates another pathway and the connection is not strong from the beginning the message does not transmit fast from the beginning but when you keep on doing that then the connection between these two brain cells becomes stronger and easy to transmit information between them so repetition is very 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 important if you want to build up a behavior repetition it's very important it is researched and noted that when you repeat something 10,000 times that becomes your habit so if you keep doing something for about three to six months it is likely that that particular behavior become part of you because of the neural communication and the wiring of your brain and the changes that occurs in your brain so you don't just behave the way you behave there is actually certain pathways that you create in your brain we shouldn't forget that every brain is different your brain is shaped 
by a whole lot of things. Things that you've been through, things that you've experienced over time might be different from what I've been through, might be different from what your friend has been through. Therefore, these things that you are exposed to, these experiences, the happy moments, the sad moments, and all those things has shaped your brain in a particular way has created certain pathways that cause certain communications in your brain. So how you take things, how you behave, how you react to situations might be different from how the other person reacts to situations because your experiences, things that you've been through and how your brain is shaped or wired is different from how that person's brain is wired. Like I said earlier, these pathways are formed by the things that we've been through and it passes through our senses, our sight, our hearing, things that we feel, the touches that we get and all that. This thing triggers the pathway and it forms a particular behavior in us. That is why it's important you become selective in things that you watch according to the behavior that you want to put up, how you want to program your mind. Because of how you want to program your mind, you shouldn't just listen to everything. Not everything should get your attention. You shouldn't watch everything. But we think that we are watching them for fun. We are, I mean, listening to them for fun and all that. But these things actually create certain pathway over time. When you keep on doing that, it shapes your mind in some way. It's Create a certain thinking pathway in your brain. And that is who we are. You can't be watching and listening to certain things and want to behave other way. No, it's not going to happen. Because these things create certain pathway in your brain and that's how you're going to behave. Because that's how your brain is wired. Now, let's talk about developing new pathway. That is the change of behavior because you've developed this pathway over a period of time whether you were you, you were consciously introduced into it or you unconsciously i mean one way or the other found yourself in this behavior that now you don't want it and you want to change it means that you've created a certain pathway in your brain and you don't like how your brain cells communicate on that pathway and you want to cut it or you want to create a new pathway. It is very possible to create as many pathways as you want in different parts of your brain. And that actually creates a new behavior. So how are you going to create a new pathway, thereby influencing a new behavior? By tapping into our five senses, it helps us to stick to a particular pathway. So how you can create a new pathway, it's by being aware of your five senses and utilizing it in a way that you want to behave. I've said that already. So things that you watch, things that you taste, things that you feel, things that you touch, things that you hear, all these things, these five senses, actually help you to create a new pathway so it is by tapping into these five senses that will help you to stick to a particular pathway or a new pathway thereby creating a new behavior as humans we all have experiences that changed us so how we can tap into these senses and cause it to create new pathways thereby influencing our behavior one is by recalling the positive things that we've experienced. I mean, the happy moments. Let's say you are into smoking. It has created a pathway in your brain. And you are like, no, I don't want to smoke this year. Now, first of all, you have to try your possible best to cut the senses, things that you watch, you hear, you feel, and all that. The other thing that you can do is to record the moment that you were not smoking, how your life were. Visualize it. Listen to things that are related to that. Watch things that are related to that. I mean, feel for that old life of yours. Because you were living that before you had this experience. So you have to try and visualize your life without smoking. 
your life without whatever behavior that you don't want to get yourself into. Try to visualize that. Try to record that in your brain. And in doing that, you are actually creating a particular pathway, causing a certain communication in your brain, which, if you keep doing that, will actually distract the old pathway and then create a new pathway for you. So what you are basically doing is connecting your success. I mean, success, the happy moment, things that you've been able to, I mean, overcome, succeeded with what you want to achieve now. So you connect your success to your goals. And this is going to help you to rewire your brain in a way that is going to help you behave in the new way. Visualization is a very powerful tool that will help you to create a new neural pathway. Remember, your behavior is controlled by the neural pathway in your brain. So visualizing, when you are there, try to visualize the happy moment, the good moments, your life without whatever that you are going through. Try to visualize. It's a very powerful tool and a very good science that help to create a new pathway in your brain. Actually, neuropsychologists explain that the brain is wired towards negative. And this is clear in our system. We can see that negative news travel faster. You can go through my content and see that content that I took time to research and put up positive information doesn't really get attention. But those that I placed my picture and then some music and all that, those content actually I get more views for them than those that I did research. So the brain, according to neuropsychologists, the brain is wired towards negative and it takes effort to actually channel your brain to the positive. So you don't let little positive things pass. Any positive thing that you, you see, you need to pay attention to it, to give it maximum attention, to make it stick in your brain, to create pathway, I mean, give you the hormones and everything that the good feel for that positive thing. Other than that, the negative is always going to, I mean, lead. So you need to learn to modify your brain to focus on the positive because the brain is wired towards the negative. So it takes an extra effort to modify your brain to focus on the positive. So this and many more that you need to do if you want to change your behavior. A research that I did for you, and I know this is going to be helpful, understand that certain pathways are created in your brain by things that are, you allow inside and if you keep doing that, the bond between these uh, brain cells is going to be strong and messages are going to be transmitted faster between these cells. And that's going to make it difficult for you to stop whatever behavior that you want to do. And the fact that you find yourself in this situation doesn't mean that you are stuck in there forever. You can rewire your brain by checking your senses, things that you get exposed to, and then by focusing on positivity and then repeating that new behavior that you want to build so that it can create a new pathway and this will take about three to six months for you to build this new pathway with your pocket here i talk about health motivation and then gospel you can follow me for more i'm out